I just pulled up to this site and as I pulled up the Curtis security pulled up and they actually have armed security guards here at this uh, Sable LLC Sable Pipeline Trail LLC and uh, as soon as I pulled up she pulled up to the front entrance and I don't know what all is going on back there but I know this is probably connected to the uh, the central hub you know we're gonna I'm gonna wait and see if she comes walking up and we'll see what happens undoubtedly they, they know who I am now because she's making phone calls but she was parked over there between that pile of rock basically in front of that bulldozer and uh, she's definitely on the phone and I'm sitting across the street I'm on a public right of way and uh, you can see all the gas line back there you know there's bunches and bunches of gas line all kinds of heavy equipment and they're bringing in dump truck after dump truck of probably fill dirt filling in the wetlands in the back of the truck but pipeline underway and yeah it's creating jobs but it's creating very dirty and environmentally unconscious people working yeah, she's back in her car but she's still on the phone just wondering if she's going to walk up here I think it's kind of crazy that they like to hide everything and you know they they claim they want public input they want to know what we, what we want what we desire but yet they got armed security keeping us out no weapons no alcohol no illegal drugs on site no explosive material and the other day when i videoed this site last week i guess it was last friday or saturday there was a fuel tank sitting basically right in front of that bulldozer. They have all these signs that say no refueling everywhere, but yet they have a portable fuel station. And uh, this security guard is not going away. And she can't see my phone from where she's sitting. It's hidden by my mirror on my truck. <laughs> I'm hoping she walks up and tries to make me go away. Looks like she's going to do a U-turn and go back in and leave me sit. Because there she goes. She's turning around. But I think she was told to pull up here and <laughs> make me go away. Yeah, she's going to park back where she was before. I wish I wasn't in such an obvious truck. My truck is logoed. <laughs> and more dump trucks coming in. I guess she's not just security, she must be keeping track of the dump truck load. But you can see the armed, you can see the gun on her side. So yeah, armed security. You know, she's got like a 45 or something. I'm not a gun person, so I don't really know. It may be a nine millimeter, but it shoots bullets. Well, let me pause this. I'm going to drive on down to the next site.
I don't know, here's somebody else coming. Maybe it's whoever she called walking this way. And this little VW, imagine that, it's from Texas. You know, the oil state. And now the other lady that walked out of the office area is outside on a phone with her hard hat and everything on, pacing around. I, I just don't get it, it's so, so secretive. They gotta hide it all. Sorry for the sound effects, but I'm sitting on the side of the road. That truck is definitely hauling dirt in. So they're filling more of the wetlands. I wish I could get back and see this stuff, but these people definitely don't want me there. Oh, there's the fuel tank. It's behind, it was behind the, the bulldozer that left. But there it is. But yet they're not supposed to be refueling and somebody along the route from my house to here they put up a whole bunch more no refueling signs but yet they have a portable fuel truck that's also carrying oil and i'd like to know how they're going to refuel all these machines if they're not allowed to refuel them because they all run off of fuel most of it's diesel the dirtiest fuel out there those of you who think this pipeline does America good, uh, no, most of the, the dirty crude oil and methane gas is being exported because they lifted the export ban. And I believe they started exporting oil to, to Canada and Mexico back in 1985, even though there was a ban against exporting. Well, I don't guess they're gonna walk up on me. So I'm gonna pause it and go on down the street. Oh, she's gonna take a picture of me. So they're gonna put me out there. Beware of green turf solutions. You know, this is crazy. They claim this is all safe. This is all good for everyone. But they don't want people like me letting people know what's really going on. And to me, it just proves that it's not safe. You know, the fracking industry exempted themselves from the Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, and a whole bunch more. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Just put in exemptions for hydraulic fracturing. Yeah, the F words in life. You can, you can vaguely hear, or at least I can hear it, the pile driving back there that was in one of the other videos. So I'm gonna pause this and go on down the road and see if I can get some other video. Thanks and have a great day.